I'm going to reveal to you, step by step, a detailed methodical system to utilize the power of the Facebook algorithm and marketplace to sell yachts, boats, bits and services positively. Billions of people share photos and information on Facebook, but just posting photos and information and then sharing it to a group or friends will not automatically make it go viral, nor will it target interested buyers in your location. However, posting in the right way, in the right kind of group, will multiply your exposure many times and target pre-qualified customers. How are customers pre-qualified? Facebook has various ways to determine what you like. First of all, your declared interests in your profile. Then, what you type in Facebook search. Groups that you choose to join and the interests of your friends. If you are employed by a yacht industry company and the posts that you like and comment on. So Facebook can determine that John Doe in XYZ dip, zip or postcode likes sailing cabin cruisers and has searched for them for sale on Facebook. This is all very valuable information if you can use it. How do you get to use it? First, join the right group. There are many groups on Facebook and quite a few relate to boats and yachts. So how to choose? There is one specific type of group that you need called buy and sell. So how do you find the right type of group that deals with the sale of your yacht, boat, item or service? It is not possible within Facebook at present to search just within buy and sell groups. Facebook only allow you to search, search groups of all types at once. Then you can only decide which is a buy and sell group if the group title reveals that. There is, however, a Yachts for Sale integrated network of around 40 Facebook for sale groups which will serve your purpose. So start by joining the headline group, Yachts for Sale, I'll give the link below, and any other group within the integrated network that has a title matching your item for sale. That headline group, Yachts for Sale, is unique within the network in that you may post anything boat related for sale, from a super yacht to an engine bolt. The other groups have very specific titles, for example, motor yachts for sale 30 to 40 feet. If you post a 45 foot motorboat in that group, it will either not be approved or be subsequently deleted. Be very careful if you mispost persistently, you may be blocked from the group. Once blocked, you would not even be able to see that group on Facebook again. Random spammers advertising just about anything but boats are also blocked. This regular weeding out of wrong posts mean that visitors to the group get to see exactly what the group title says, which is presumably just what they're looking for so they are likely to come again and recommend the group to their like-minded friends. Let's take an example. Say you have a 35-foot houseboat with a diesel engine. This can be posted in the following groups. Yachts for sale, motor yachts for sale, motor yachts for sale 30 to 40 feet, houseboats, cruising houseboats for sale, your first step is to apply to join each of those groups, which can be found on the other link below. Then on the Yachts for Sale group at the top, under the large photo, is a block with options. Sell something, start discussion, live video, more. It is absolutely vital that at this stage you select sell something. Now, in the block exactly where it says, what are you selling, put a clear descriptive title with the most important details like 2013 35 foot Marco Streamer 35 houseboat Volvo diesels. So in that title, we've got the year, 
the length, the make, the model, the type, and the engines, all in the title. In the next field below, you'll be asked for price. Now, your currency may be different to the group currency, but because you'll enter your location next, that won't matter too much. So if you're selling for 25,000 US dollars, enter 25,000 in the price field. And remember to put at the beginning of your description later, prices in US dollars. Facebook have given advice on how to change the currency, but it is not instant and doesn't always work. Here's what they've said on the matter. Visit your payment settings. Facebook slash settings. Um, below preferences, select your preferred currency and then click save changes. Keep in mind, Facebook say, if you change your preferred currency, you'll need to wait 72 hours before you can change it again. Uh, in the price field, don't put one dollar or free or contact seller. Put the actual price you want, plus a little bit for negotiation, perhaps, or put something like price fixed, no haggling. Now, your location goes in the next field. Facebook is international. It's the World Wide Web, remember? Uh, so you need to define your city or at least county your state if that applies, and your country. <laughs> if you type carefully, spell correctly, and put those details in that order, Facebook should accept them in that field on the first attempt. If not, try again. Be careful and be patient. Facebook does throw up a predicted list when you start to type, and it is easy to end up with the wrong item from their list, so check your entry when done. So now you have title, price and location. It's time for your description. Tell all, be honest and remember to inform about currency if Facebook have forced the wrong symbol in the price field. Finally, you must upload at least one picture. Even if you've included a link to a site which produces a picture by itself. In fact, the more pictures, the better. Show every feature of your boat then go through and delete those that don't look so good unless they are essential for showing a feature. At the end, when you post, you'll be given the opportunity to post to other groups. You should see a list including those groups you have just joined in the Yachts for Sale integrated network. Click on each group with a title that fits your item. If you later want to edit your post, you can either edit each copy in each group or delete all of them and repost the item from the beginning as above. I'm just going to go through a list of common mistakes that people make. Uh, sharing a post from your own Facebook page. No, no, no. Posts must be a sell something and repost it exactly as I say above. Starting a discussion is another mistake people make. Telling people how wonderful your last trip is very interesting and nice to read in a general interest group about boating. It is, however, not a boat for sale and will not be welcome in a boat for sale group. People come to these groups to browse adverts of boats for sale. Facebook give AYB a simple click option to block incorrect posts and the posters. Other posts will be deleted and the annoying person who posts those items is likely to be blocked themselves. That means they will never be able to even see that group or its posts again. Another mistake is not uploading an extra photo if your description includes a link to an advert elsewhere. A photo is likely to appear in the post as a result of the link but that will not always be seen within the extended network. So you are required to upload at least one yourself. Another mistake people make is not joining AYB. Uh, the network has been established and is maintained specifically for yacht industry professionals who are members of AYB. Private owners selling their own single yacht or chandlery item 
are allowed to participate free of charge so long as they post professionally. Uh, AY ad, AYB admin are very busy, but every so often they run through the posts and permanently remove those who have not taken the opportunity to join AYB, which is free for private owners selling a single item. Yacht industry professionals and others posting more than one item are required to join AYB as yacht industry professionals and contribute a modest £18 a year. Another big mistake is not posting your item in yachts for sale in the first place. Do that. And then the other important thing to remember is post your item in marketplace. It really is important. I hope this has been of help to you. And I look forward to the comments below. Thank you. Bye bye.